All right, fellas, we are back with another episode of the Duke It Out podcast. Me and my boy over here, ready to talk some shit. Today we got a very special guest. You might have seen him, you might have not. He's part of the Nitro Circus crew. This guy's a pretty much a fucking stunt devil. We got Street Bike Tommy coming in the house, sitting in the hot seat and ready to talk some shit. See what he's been up to, you know, talk about his life pretty much. Let's get into the episode and let's get it. This gen can b- me. We, we're rolling and bowling? Recording? Good? All right, fellas, we are back with another episode. <laughs> we have an amazing one here. This guy went from fucking hanging drywall yeah. to practically falling from the sky. Yeah. Uh, the fact that he's still alive is incredible. This guy's been through hell and back. Yeah. We got the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> street bike f- Tommy, this guy's got more hair on his <laughs> balls than I do on my fucking face. Yeah, I spent a lot of time getting rid of that. So. Dude, how do you feel, brother? <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, old. I feel old. What, 30, um, 36? I'm 40. You're 40? Uh, yeah, I just turned 40. Well, not just. It's uh, That was September. But uh, yeah, man, uh, I feel 80. Dude, um, that's That was literally going to be yeah. my first question. Like, how does your body just feel like a fucking blow up mattress? Uh, it's crazy because it just like it, 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 se- it seemingly happened overnight because uh, everybody, you know, all the old heads back in the day. It's like, you know, you're not doing anything uh, I didn't do back in the day. And like, you know, uh, you're going to feel it. Yeah. You're going to feel it is yeah, like their you, favorite thing. Yep. And I was like, I mean, yeah, it just happens overnight, man, because uh, I've had a really really bad like knees shoulders back neck the uh, i saw that x-ray yeah. on your instagram your knees. yeah and like i i finally like got an x-ray because like man i'm starting to have like some issues man it's starting to like actually like hurt hurt uh because like you know pretty much every single day i'm in pain but it's not like to the point where i'm like i, I never complained about it before yeah and now i'm like god it's just, and i went and got an x-ray and i was like well that's, that's a pretty good reason yeah they look uh, all fucking conjoint- all well up. like if you know you knew any like I didn't know anything about x-rays, but like when you look into the knee and it just does this in the middle, like yeah. those are bone spurs <laughs> and mine are like really predominant, I guess. And then like no cartilage uh, and then like early uh, heavy uh, arthritis, osteoarthritis, whatever the, they want to call it. Oh my God. Um, Honestly, that's like your knees are like the most important thing on your fucking dude, body. Dude. I feel like knees and shoulders. Yeah. And like, dude, the only reason why I'm not 500 pounds is because I run. And, yeah. like, running is starting to just really suck. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. It's the life we live, and you made those choices. Yeah. So, you know, ta-da. Cardio is, cardio is not for me. No. I'm starting to get into, back into it, too. I used to do cardio a lot when I raced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back when I was doing it. But now it's like, I mean, I made a shirt, Stop Normalizing Obesity, <laughs> which I get a lot of hate for. But can, hey, can you agree to that? You know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I, But you put good use to it when, when you were growing up with being, well, being like a heavy skater. I mean, you were a lot bigger back right, then, right? But, but, like, so, like, I did get up to, like, 300. 20 pounds is like the heaviest I Holy got. Holy fuck. Uh, I'm sitting about 250 right now to just give you a little, um, you know, contrast. But, uh, you know, the, the thing is, is, like, at no point in time was I like, oh, what are you calling me fat for? Like, I'm, I know I'm fat. Like, yeah. like, but, like, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, but you were the most athletic fat yeah, man I've ever man. witnessed growing <laughs> up in my life, dude. First of all, let me just say yeah, this. Yeah. When I when I started getting like a little bit bigger on Instagram and growing a little bit of following, yeah. I would see like like you know a couple famous people like follow me and like yeah. whatever. I'd be like, okay, but like the day that you <laughs> followed me, bro, I kid you not, swear to God, yeah. it popped up as a priority because like, you had a decent following. And I looked at it, I was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I went so street like Tommy, I immediately yeah. called my brother. I'm like, yo, Max. Do you remember fucking Nitro Circus? Because we used to watch this shit all the time. Yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah. I'm like, yo, Street Bike Tommy just fucking followed me, bro. <laughs> he's like, no way, all this shit, because bro, I like your stuff. I like your stuff. Oh it's my funny. god, that was yeah. I've had like top of the line people. I'm like Street Bike. I was like, wow. I appreciate it. I'm flattered, man, because like, uh, you know, it, it's uh, I like I like people that put cool stuff up, and uh, it's all meant, you know, if you can't laugh at it, like. Dude, yeah, but you, comedy's changing now, bro. Well, that's the, that's the unfortunate thing is that it really has, but it hasn't, you know, because mm. I still think that that shit's funny. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, if you take life that serious, I, I feel sorry for you, you know? Like, if you can't laugh at, like, 
I don't know, even stereotypes, man. Like if so, like I think stereotypes are funny. I like, think roasting someone in general. Is comedy. And hilarious. I know you being around all those yeah. guys at Pastrana's house oh, and uh, behind the scenes yeah. on the show, you were getting your ass kicked and oh, roasted yeah. nonstop. Oh, that and and you know, it's just part of it. Like it's not like I didn't throw it all back. You know no. what I mean? Like it's easy to make fun Makes of you a man. Those guys. Yeah, I mean that's just it's part of life, and it's just not, nothing was meant by it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like. Uh, Travis and those guys call me fat all the time, and I make fun of him because he can't throw a baseball. You know what I mean? Yep. Like it's 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 yep. it's kind of you just you pick your thing. You yep. know what I mean? And and every friend group, I'm sure you know you you it's a term of endearment. Yeah. You know, like it. Um, and well, I want I want to talk about. So, are you born and raised in in uh, Maryland? Maryland, born and raised. You lived there your whole yes, life. Sir. Yeah, man. I just I haven't been able to leave. Uh, right. I've spent some time all over the world. Uh, oh, yeah, we, sure. like I've lived, uh, for a little stints in like, uh, Texas. Uh, I did Minnesota last winter. Like I, I was like, man, I've never, cause like I hate cold. I hate it. So like, dude, but like, and the people that like it, what the <laughs> fuck like is it. wrong with that? Oh, this isn't even cold. You know, it hurts. Yeah. It's painful. Oh, the man. cold is literally fucking painful. Uh, there was a two week period where we couldn't turn our vehicles off cause, uh, you, they wouldn't start back up until it warmed up. Why Minnesota? Yeah, like it was that cold. Oh, where like the negatives, right? Uh, oh, easy negatives. Cold. It was like uh, 30s negatives. The like, fuck were you doing out there, bro? Well, I was a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, Snowboard, snowmobiling? Jake Sherbrooke, uh, snowmobile. Uh, he was doing YouTube stuff. Uh, still is. He has a great channel, uh, great following, and and it is fun. Out. It is fun. I just don't know how anybody can live in it. You know. I hate snow. Yeah, same. Same. Because I used to plow. But. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! I plowed one time for hey, good sixty money in hour, great money. But yeah. I started hallucinating because they 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 don't let you sleep, right? Because you have to keep going, or else oh, the, yeah. the, it'll 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 turn Somebody into ice. Somebody else will do it too. Holy fuck, yeah. dude! Yeah, that's white gold. That's what they call it. Dude, white gold. And, and great money because like I actually did a little bit of that when I was younger because uh, I actually had a big blue Ford tractor that my dad had, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I would snake it and go push snow. Um, Make a little loot that way. I've always done super blue collar stuff my entire life. I mean, yeah. dude, I was swinging a hammer four weeks ago, so I, you know, there you go. And I mean, even last night I was at my buddy's house hang, helping him hang drywall. Uh, funny enough, do you miss doing? Do you miss hanging the drywall? I never missed it. Like I never, I never got out of it. <laughs> like um, never left you. You know, everybody uh, thinks you're like this crazy millionaire because you're on TV or like yeah. I mean, I'm sure that you see. You're yeah, like, people oh. think right away when you're gaining followers yeah. and views and attention, they yeah. think that you're like I mean, the next Bill Gates. There are those. Yeah. You know, there are those, but... It's the way to do it, though. If you're not yeah. like a super business guy, you, you, right. there's a lot of people out there that have two, three million followers and making yeah. no money. It's just the way that you got to roll with it. Yeah. But it, So what? What? when did you transition... So when did the transition happen? Like, I'm dying to know how you even got into... I mean, dude, like I was Nitro just Circus. like... Um, so when I was coming up, uh, the early days, like I, I was a huge fan of Jackass. I mean, like I thought Jackass was the coolest thing yep, that's ever too. happened. And it was, you know, at the time, like there was nothing, nothing remotely like that. Nothing lifestyle, personality based, zero. I mean, you, the the closest you had was like Road Rules and Real World, and like that yeah, was. Yeah, but nobody was doing what those Jackass nah. were doing. And then all of a sudden, they came out of nowhere. I was like, dude, I can be a goofball and make money with it. That's sick. So uh, I didn't even know that I made money with it. Uh, Cause at that time, like I was just a local guy in my little, like my town's called Shady Side, yeah, yeah. and like literally, I ran around with a camera, like just a little Sony handheld handy cam, uh, shooting high eight, you know, uh, actual film, and like you know, what were you recording yourself doing? Well, just I had a street bike, so like we were doing wheelies everywhere and like running from cops oh, and, uh, you know, just doing dumb stuff at parties uh, and thinking we were the coolest thing on earth uh and then uh jim de champ actually showed up to a a party that i was at okay. so i was at a house party and like uh, a close family friend of mine uh started dating him so she was like you gotta meet my uh boyfriend jim and like he lives at travis pastrana's house and like you always heard travis's name growing up like in my area um like you would always hear him uh mentioned and like you'd see him on commercials for x yeah. games and mm -hmm. uh everybody. so he was popping at the time travis I like dude this Jesus. was i want to say this was like 99 okay 
So he oh, had yeah, just he was popping off. He like yeah, just yeah. got his pro deal, and like this is public knowledge. Like I'm not just blowing a spot up, but like you know he got a five million dollar deal with Suzuki uh, in '99, uh, and like this is right when he started filming like uh, you know Nitro Circus One mm -hmm. in like 2001. So it was like he started filming that uh, DVD and. Uh, it was going to be sold in like Walmart and, uh, you Holy know, at, at mo uh, motorcycle shops and Best Buy. So it was like, you know, oh, it's super famous. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So, um, you know, you heard about it. And then like I met this dude and oh, so Travis's house was just on cribs, like MTV cribs. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then like, you know, Jim shows up at a party and like everybody's like, oh, my God, have you met Stephanie's new boyfriend, Jim? <laughs> Oh my God, he's so cool! <laughs> and like I'm super, like you know, I got jealous. Like yeah. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm I'm the coolest kid in this room. Yeah, nobody fucks yeah, with me. Right. And uh, I met the guy, uh, and like I kind of liked him. And I was like, all right, he's kind of cool, bad. right? But like you know, uh, when your friends talk up some new dude, you're just like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. You know. Uh, but you know, he they, they were like, Jim, put on this DVD, and uh, he goes to the truck. He drove Travis's truck to the party. A uh, big yellow F three fifty. Holy shit! Because uh, he was like living with Travis at the time, so like he's Travis's oldest friend since they were kids, and like he's a personally like him at the time. I think he was like number two for uh, downhill mountain biking. Oh shit! In, in the world. Holy fuck! Um, so he's a loose cannon, right? So uh, he goes to the truck and he gets this DVD out, and like it's got Sharpie on the on the front of it, it says Nitro Circus, and I was like, that's the dumbest fucking name I've ever heard. My <laughs> like for real. At the time, I thought that's I was hilarious. like, that's, I was like, because you had metal militia, yeah, crusty Vegan demons, yep, right? Yep. But like Nitro Circus, and like I was like, dude, that is the dumbest fucking name I've ever heard. <laughs> and like he puts it on, I didn't say that. He puts it on, and like this whole party, like it's like a basement party, and like we all gather around. And it's like a console TV, big fucking wooden thing, you know, and it's like a TV, so it's like yeah. you know, seven hundred pound TV, and it's like we're all trying to get around this TV because it's like back then it was like a big screen, forty inch. Right. So we're watching this t uh, DVD and, you know, it's basically Nitro Circus one. Like, but it was like the rough cut, in the DVD series. Yeah. And like it was fast paced. It was like, boom, 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 all these quick hits. And like they were really sending themselves, you know, like they were they were going pretty hard. So yeah. like they're landing on their face from trying backflips because black backflips were like brand new. Um, but like watching all this, I'm like. You know, in my head, I was like, this is, this is cool. Like, you know, uh, but in my head, I was like, man, I thought they, they, they would go a little harder, you know, in my uh, head. So you looked at that like that ain't shit. Right. So like, <laughs> uh, you know, at the end of the, the DVD, like everybody just kind of like turned and looked at me like a movie. And I was like, what the fuck? And like, they're like, so what'd you think? And I was all like, yo, like, why did I just become the authority? Like, I didn't say it, but I was like, I mean, it's cool. Like, you know, and I said my opinion. <laughs> I was like, it's cool. I just, you know, I thought that like, you know, with all the stuff that you guys have at your fingertips, like, yeah, I, I just thought it would be a little different. And I didn't mean to be insulting, but Jim was like, oh, yeah, you think you could do better? And I was like, dude, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't have access to any of that stuff. He was like, oh. Well. Yeah, but you're always one to try shit. Yeah, but, like, you know, and that's all I said. I was like, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't have those means. Like, I can't, yeah. I can't touch that. And he was like, uh, well, I mean, we're getting ready to film for Nitro Circus 2. And, uh, you know, because this one's done, but we're, we're getting ready to do the second DVD already. Yeah. And he was like, uh, you want to come over and film? You think you can do better? And I was like, Why? I was like. I mean, what, I, I can't do motorcycle. I've never ridden dirt bikes in my life. And they were filming in the back of Travis's house? Yeah, so, like, at that time, they just kind of, like, um, once or twice a year, they would have, like, uh, Greg Godfrey of Godfrey Entertainment, who originally produced Nitro Circus, mm -hmm. would have, uh, like, these, these film days of, like, three days. They would try to do three days. And they would like get junk cars and you drive them together and like you just like basically do whatever you thought that you wanted to do in yeah. that time. Yeah. And then they would, they would make the DVD. Uh, and then like the rest of the stuff was just throughout the year with Travis. But for bringing in other people, uh, it was just like a three day film thing. And like the, uh, I was like, I've never ridden a dirt bike. Before. Like, I mean, I've ridden a dirt bike, but never I never like jumped one yeah yeah um my dad was blue collar as hell like and like i begged him for a dirt bike my whole 
my whole life. That's all I wanted to do was like, yeah. I wanted a dirt bike. Me too, it was the same one. And he finally, like my dad, like bless his heart. He, he like, when we were like 14 years old, he's like, ta-da. And we we're like, yo man, like I need a car. Like, you got a bike before you got a car? Oh, a dirt bike. Oh, a dirt bike. Yeah. Uh. And like, and like, we're like pops, like now I'm in the market for a car. Like, I mean, I wanted a dirt bike when I was seven. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we still thought they were cool, but like, uh, he also said, you know, he's like, you know, don't ride in the grass. And like, we had this property. He's like, go, go ride in the woods. He can't ride in the woods. So like, we're cutting down these trees and he's like, don't use my tools. I'm like, bro, you're killing me. But anyway, so like, I never really had, like I had ridden, but I'd never. No experience. Not, on yeah, yeah. So I mean, um, and and Jim was like, you know, that's not what it is. Like, literally, it's we're doing a contest. You go out, and uh, teams of three to four, whatever, uh, you go out in the world, and for a 24-hour period, you go do the best footage that, in, that you possibly can think of. Doesn't yeah. matter what it is. He goes, you know, if Travis does a double backflip into the foam pit, because at the time, you know, that was a huge deal. He's yeah. like, Travis does a double backflip into the foam that's cool, but like if you go down to the local 7 Eleven and you talk the clerk into doing naked jumping jacks, like, yeah. you know, if you can get her to do that, like that's, you know, if, if we agree that it's good footage, you know, then, you then you win yeah. 2,000 bucks. And at the time, I was like, all right, bet 2,000 bucks. I'll do anything for 2,000 yeah. bucks. <laughs> like, let's go. Um, and then, like, the, that day, uh, you know, cause like you always think that you have the best ideas in the world yeah. until it comes up. You know what I mean? Like yep. you get put on the spot and you're like, the cameras are out too. Yeah. You're like, Oh man, that's, that's dumb. That's dumb. Really actually fucking do yeah. this now. It's like, but, but you're just like, nah, we can't. That's dumb. Let's do something better. Nah. That's... So me and my friends were sitting around my house at the time and like, we're trying to like brainstorm and like do funny stuff. And like, I couldn't think of anything. And like, we kept shooting like ideas down cause we had writers blocked. Cause like now all of a sudden we're on the spot. Yeah. We have the opportunity um and uh so i just i was like fuck it i i jumped in my everyday car at the time and it was a baby blue uh 1983 lincoln and uh town car did you just drive it off a cliff no dude like <laughs> i didn't have a cliff i drove it into a tree like on purpose like literally like grabbed my street bike how they were recording a, i hope they oh, were dude. recording <laughs> No, dude. I, I hope they were recording, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I, that video exists. Uh, <laughs> Videos out there. I uh, I put I put on a helmet and then I put a couch cushion in under my shirt because I was like, I'm probably gonna hit the steering wheel, right? Yeah. The one thing that I didn't think about was like my knees, like oh. murdered the dash, like just smoked my dash. Oh man, it turned into a vegetable. Oh, dude, and then like folded up my hood and like, oh. but like I was like, oh man, did it look cool? And everybody's like, yeah, it was pretty funny. That's all that matters. Yeah, and then uh. Uh, I couldn't think anything, couldn't think anything. So I went inside, I got my shotgun and I started like shooting it and like, you know, shooting the windows out and the tires. And then, uh, when I shot the tires out, the car just kind of like dropped. Right. Yeah. And I, I was like, man, that looks pretty low. You think Richie could drive his truck? Off? And, like my buddy Richie had a, a lifted S 10. Yeah. Uh, and he, uh, he, he like came over and drove up on it. Uh, and then like, I was like, you gotta get your street bike out. You gotta do wheelies. Cause like I could do like four mile wheelies, you know, at like buck 50 like just holy what yeah like like you could do it. a wheelie at 150 yeah, miles dude. an hour yeah like what? fifth gear just yeah, yeah. that is so sketchy yeah. dude. and then like you change you know change lanes, lanes. oh yeah because like once so like at those speeds like you have the wind that actually kind of holds you like yeah but one one rock or something well, you hit or you get a little bit of head shake you're dude, I was, fucking i was like 19 bro like, oh my god! Like nineteen twenty something like that, and That's uh, crazy dude. But so like I go and do it because I was like, well, all right, because like I was actually hiding my bike at the time because I was running from the cops all the time. Yeah. At, at that time, uh, I didn't have a license. I didn't have a, a tag. Um, like I didn't have insurance on that bike. Like uh, I was just out there, just you know, doing whatever, being yeah. a dick. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> And uh, so the cops knew my bike because it was covered in fur. It was like tiger print fur. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And uh, man, uh, I broke it out and I did this like wheelie. I ran from the cops. Uh, but as I did this wheelie, uh, I threw a valve. So the motor kind of like popped. Like it was like, bah, half power. Yeah. I'm like, damn it. And like I had to like run from the cops with like half power. So like the only thing that I could think to do is like I cut across this like, like pretty deep V median. <laughs> 
right? Because it's, like it's like two lanes this way, two lanes that way. So I was like, oh, because like I knew they couldn't do that in a Crown Vic, right? Uh, yeah. That's how long what ago it was Crown fuck? Vics, bro. So like, you know, and then all of a sudden I'm going this way and like all the cops are going this way. And I was all like, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, but uh, so, you know, I, I popped the motor and like it's not running good. So I was like, all right, whatever. Like, let's let's. uh. Let's do something else. Let's jump. Let's jump it. Like, has anybody ever jumped a street bike before? And everybody's like, no, nah, no, nah, ain't nobody jumped no street bike. You know, and this is a GSXR 1000. Yeah. There's a 2002 GSXR 1000 covering for, uh, and I just kind of blew it up, but it's still running. So I was like, all right, let's go. And uh, we take it to Travis's house. And like, I had met Travis for like, Split I mean, like, second. hey, man, do you mind if I jump this in your, in your foam pit? And he goes, ah. Cause like it's heavy, so like his crane like wasn't set up for that weight. To so like pull it to pull it out, you're saying. <clears throat> so he was like, he was like, yeah, I guess. Can you do a trick? And I was like, I don't know. I've never jumped anything in my life. And he was like, well, all right, just jump in the first time and just kind of see if see how you feel. Right. And he was like, just do it slow, and then like if you feel good, try a trick the second time because like I don't. It's not cool enough for you to break my stuff for just jumping in. So like, do a trick on the second time. And I was like, all right, bet. So like uh he runs off and does something else so like he's travis he, does yeah he leaves the compound completely so like every there's no professionals around like whatsoever the only professional that was there that actually rode uh dirt bikes at the time was uh chuck crothers who won x games big air that year oh shit. because he did the corolla so like the he did like a barrel roll above the bike with his body, so he jumped. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see and what you he mean. he did a yeah. That's crazy. The Corolla. That trick. Yeah. That, so that was two thousand four. Um, but uh, he was there, but he didn't give me any advice or anything. I didn't know him. You know, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna take this advice of my buddies that had. He was like, you go twice as fast. It was my buddy Wayne Guessford, who's like a plumber. You know, and then I, I had no idea. No, <laughs> I had no idea. No, anything about jumping, nothing, no uh -huh. experiences. Yeah, and like you know, I didn't know any better, so I just <laughs> whatever. And uh, I jumped the foam pit, big poof, crash, get everything, uh, get everything. Uh, you know that happened. Like that was like you know rise and splat of street bike Tommy, right? So, uh, but it was funny because like literally, like I keep saying literally, but like he he came down the hill, like he's coming down the hill. Uh, cause the way Travis's house is set up, there's the hill and then there's the shop and the phone pits on the side of the shop. Yeah. And he's like coming down the hill and he sees me up over his shop and he was like, Oh no. Like he knew like right away that this dude's like screwed. But what the fuck? Were you attempting to do a front flip? Yeah, dude. So like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, did you ever see this? Bro, yeah. we're going to pull it up in a second. But I, that yeah. was my one fucking question yeah. that I wanted to ask you. What was going through your mind leaning? Because I hate, I, listen, love you, Tommy, to death. That was the stupidest fucking thing I've well, ever seen in my life. Bro, so like I, I've never been able to do a backflip. Like uh, standing like in, on a trampoline, can't do a backflip. Can't go into a pool, can't do a backflip. Wait, you were trying to backflip it? No, no, here's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, get, I'm getting there. Uh, so like, I'm like, in my brain, like, so, but when Travis, like I had that whole exchange with him, you know, X Games, like TV star, you know, like I was nervous. So yeah. like, he was like, what trick are you going to do? And I was like, I don't know, backflip, you know, because at the time, like, that seemed to be like the, the trick. cool thing, yeah. The and trick. like you know, it, it visually it's heavy though to backflip those things. <clears throat> well, I didn't know, so uh, I was like, um, I was like, I'm gonna backflip, and like that's what I told. But in my brain, because like I was just telling him that to get the permission, and then once I had the permission, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do what cool, I want to do anyway. Yeah. So uh, I've never been able to do a, a backflip in a, on a trampoline in a pool, nothing. And like, but I can do a front flip. Like I've always been able to do a front flip very easily. And like my brain lets me do a front flip. So I was like, I'm going to try front flip. And, uh, yeah, there's only two people in the whole wide world that, uh, knew that I was trying to do a front flip and neither one of them have a voice anywhere because one still is a construction dude and the other's a plumber that I was telling you about and neither one of them uh like can tell anybody the story you yeah. know what I mean so uh and now all I have is Travis being like you know oh yeah you're trying it's like dude I actually sat down with him uh before and I showed him like step by step and we listened to the to the motor and everything I was like bro you tell me for one second that I wasn't trying to do a front flip he actually agreed with me but he'll never do it on camera oh my god um <laughs> but, 
You're not listening to this, pal. <laughs> Close your ears, buddy. Turn it to hell and yeah. kill for five seconds, Travis. Yeah. He'll, one day you'll put it on camera. But anyway, but I, you know, I mean, that's kind of the mystique of that. How whole far? Thing. How far did you overshoot it? Not much, man. Only like you landed on wood, though. No, it was only like six feet. All I remember oh, is dude, scrap. You, you landing, and all I'm hearing is uh, well. Uh, so it was a little more violent than that. It was actually like me not being able to breathe. So like when I hit, like I landed on my feet, but like kind of like I tried to like roll out of it, like try to absorb it, because like falling through the air, like I was like, oh, this is so sick. I was you like, just tumble and roll. I was like, I was doing the front flip, and I was like, oh, this is so awesome. I'm doing the front flip, and then like as the bike's like coming around, and like I look over my shoulder, and the foam pit's like this big, and it's like I can see that I'm gonna, gonna miss be it. So scary. Then you know, first thought, you like you have like those milliseconds where it feels like it feels like minutes yeah. where you're just like, I was like looking around. I was like, there's nothing to grab. I can't, can't save myself. Like I'm falling. Like there's nothing I can do about this. And like, that was the very first time in my life that I genuinely thought that like I was, I was experiencing where I was going to die. Yeah. And I, I was like, I can't do anything about this. And like, I was just along for the ride. So like, I was like, do as much as you can. Like when you hit, like whatever. Yeah. So I tried to like, like run out of it. So like I broke my left foot, like pretty much exploded every bone in my left foot. Uh, and then uh, I detached my left calf and then like my right, it was like, cause I was like left, right. So like uh, the right side, uh, I didn't break any bones, but I tore my ACL, MCL, PCL. Oh my uh, God. So you were just like fucking raw oh, meat. Dude. And then like, <laughs> then I just like, like flap myself down. But like when I like did the roll, like, I guess I hit with enough speed where it was just like, boom, to where like I was just laying there and like completely out of breath. Like I was like, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was involuntary. Like I heard this awful noise and there was nothing I could do about it. Like I was like, I sound so fucking stupid right now. Like that's, that's literally like something that was in my head. Like I was like, I, I sound so stupid. Like I'm dying. Like, yeah, your body's completely like, mangled. And I'm like, I sound stupid. And I'm like, it's funny what you think about. Did you feel like a pussy by like screaming like that? No. Like I was just like, that's the Cause dumbest. a lot of these dudes, they break their leg and right. they just like, all right, what am I doing next? It's like, well, buddy, your leg is broken, pal. Well, that's the thing with these injuries, dude. Like the big ones don't hurt. Like the big ones, sir, sure, you have that initial shock of, of yeah. pain and you know something's wrong, but your body instantly turns it off. Like it's like the dopamine hits you so hard yeah. that you're just like, like sure it hurts. Like it does hurt. Like I'm not saying it like, but as far, like, dude, I've been in more pain from like a burn, you know? And like, holy shit. Uh, you yeah, know, but the next day has got to be brutal. Well, the next day is not brutal because you're all doped up, you know? Yeah. They, like, cause like the next nine days I was in intensive care, uh, because they were worried about like blood clotting. So they were like monitoring, make sure I didn't pass a clot. Yeah. Cause like, uh, I was black and blue, like shoulder blades to my heels. Purple. Oh, dude. Um, yeah. And like my, my, my calf, like there were. How many hospital visits have you had, dude? You've got to have, a I mean, they, dude, they, they, you must've been a night, you must've been a well-known visitor in that, in that fucking well, hospital. Well, if I went in. to the same one, I'm sure I would be. <laughs> um, but like, you know, cause once the TV show stuff got kicked off, um, you know, I had to like, dude, the majority of the TV show on MTV, we were all filming very injured. Like everything that you see, there was stuff broken. There was stuff out of place. There was like stuff that we were just duct taping together. Holy like, fuck. Like actually like duct tape. Like, like bones together and shit? Like yeah, like we would, uh, like we didn't have time or, you know, the means to go to the hospitals and stuff. So like we would pad up like with like rags, you know, around stuff. Like Jolene did the entire 3D movie. Uh, she might get mad at me for saying this because, you know, but she did the entire 3D movie like, she had, she had a frozen guy. shoulder. She couldn't even, she couldn't do this. Like, she couldn't pick her arm up. What? Uh, and if you look real close, like, you'll see a bunch of scenes where she actually had it. But, but is she like, are you like not allowed to say that you're oh, like, she, me, but she just didn't want it? Well, for me, like, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah. I think that, like, the, the part of that struggle is like what makes me a, a character that people yep. want to, but she sees herself, because you know, she is, uh, like a very skilled athlete. Oh, she's you know, amazing. she doesn't. She doesn't want to. She she doesn't like to show weakness or anything like that. Because like you know, she takes her athleticism very seriously. Was she the only girl of the group? Yeah, 
She was, right? <clears throat> like at the time, I mean, of course, we have like a couple that are friends of the group. Um, but she, like, was, she was the only girl doing like stunts. She and was stuff. the only like every single That's day, uh, day in, day out. Uh, she does actually professional stunts in Hollywood now. So. Oh, no way. Uh, she does very well. Does she well. ride anymore? Yeah. Oh, shit. Time. Oh, yeah. She's so like. Um, Famously, like my favorite uh, thing to tell people is that, like, uh, if you've seen uh, the Batman with Anne Hathaway, uh, when she was riding the the Bat motorcycle. Oh wait, I think I know. I think I, I think I know what you're talking the about the Bat cycle. So uh, she rode the Bat cycle down uh, the steps of the city hall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Um, all those like motorcycle scenes where like her butt looks really good. That's actually Jolene's butt. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Anne. No way. She's in the Batman movie? <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, shit, no way. Yeah, she was... Well, her asses. Yeah. Hey, it's crazy. Hey, hey. No, she's... Uh, yeah, she's a very athletic girl. Uh, so she does care about, like, you know, being injured and stuff like that, so... Were you... So I went to one of the Nitro Circus shows. I was at the one that was in... I think you were emceeing it. It was, yeah. in, it was in Madison Square Garden. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We there? sold Madison Square Garden out a couple Dude, times. that was... Yeah. When my dad got me the tickets for that, Dude. I shit a clam in my fucking pants. That, that was the greatest day of my life. That is top three of one of my favorite shows that we ever did. Really? Uh, number one is Annapolis, just hometown. Yeah. Uh, the Naval Academy went off. Like, yeah. we had rain in the middle, so we had to do some of the show, rain, and then finish the show. The stadium ran out of beer at halftime. Like, Holy fuck. drank like it out of beer. Moto people, are oh. like, they're, they are. It was, I, I went, they had a super cross at MetLife. <laughs> yeah. And I went there. They are fucking insane. insane. Great people. Great Amazing. People. But that's the um, best type of people you want to yeah. be around. They're just nuts. Salt jobs. of the earth. And, like, you know, there's no, you know, I mean, you're going to get some egos just because, like, some successful people are around. But, you know, as far as, like, there's there's no like hierarchy. You're mm-hmm. just out in the middle of the woods and you're having a good time. Yep. Um, but yeah. Uh, so is that was like, were you doing any tricks like on the? Were were you going down no. the ramp at all? No. No, no, no. They so, just had you joking around, fucking around on the microphone. Well, for the live tour, like my what I'm good at is filming, yeah. like being out and doing the one thing. Like they'll tell you all day long. Like they get frustrated when we're doing the TV show. Or, or anything anything for film, they get kind of mad at me because, like, they'll set up this huge setup and, like, they'll be sessioning, like, all day long. Like, you get Travis, you get Jolene, you get Jim, you get Special Gray. You know, and, like, you get Roner just, like, doing these things, right? Yeah. And, like, um, all day they're just – they're, they're get, trying to get the best content. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there just soup – like, they didn't know, but, like, you know, I didn't tell them. Like, I was scared shitless. Like, I'm just sitting there. I'm looking at this thing. I'm like, I can't do that. Like how and like I'm just in my head trying to wrap my head around what's the best way that I can do it, <laughs> but the and get hurt the least because I knew I was getting hurt. Uh-huh. Like I knew for a fact. Like that was my thing. Like I was I'd do a big thing and then I'd break something and then they take me to the hospital. I'd get patched up and then like you were literally just a stunt. Of yeah, me. they literally yeah. were like okay guys, we're gonna have yeah. Tommy blow his fucking kneecaps out so we could film it, put it on MTV, and uh, send him to the hospital. The the one where that was absolutely obvious was uh, when I was doing Healy's down the the hill at Travis's house. Like he's got it. Oh my a, god, I remember and I, that. I just I, I I'd never had I just got I got these heels. I was like, check this out, guys, this will be funny. And they were like, Yeah, take it from the top of the hill. And like I'm like I remember that. I just opened these things. Like, what do you mean take it from the th-? they're like they're like, Yeah, you got it. And I'm all like and like you can see in somebody's face when they're being a dick. And I'm all like, You just want me to go up there because you know it's gonna be like good footage. Like, and I I'll go do that, but don't don't sugarcoat. This was like actually something that they played. Like like I was like you know, don't tell me I can do it. Your ass. And, and like, you know, I was like, what, what should I, you know, do? They're like, well, I'll put a, ha- a helmet and maybe gloves on. I was like, I shouldn't put elbow pads or like, any- and they're like, nah. So, um, like, I, it was. Who I, was it telling? Was it Travis telling you to do it? Or was it, it was just, just a the- mixture because, like, collectively as a group, like, this was our shot. Yeah. You know, like, we were young guys, you know, early 20s where we're just like, uh, you know, this is we're on MTV, and at the time, there was no such thing as I mean, YouTube and, and that stuff was like big, but not you know, it's not like what it is, obviously. Now, no, because like if it was hit, I'd be a multi millionaire. Oh, yeah, dude, because yep. like my clip was like one of the most downloaded clips, uh, of like 05, um, 
you know, like Break.com, yep. E-Bombs World, uh, and YouTube in its infancy. You know what I mean? Like, those were the early, early days. And, like, but that was still, like, when that was the last great years of actual TV. Which it's, I, it's just, but it's it's crazy to see now the level of, of like, action that, like, think about, like, when Travis Ostrom did the first ever double backflip. Oh, yeah. Like, there's motherfuckers doing triple backflips yeah. now. Look uh, at look at Tony Hawk. Yeah, when he did the first nine hundred, dude. I just watched a seven year old <laughs> on my fucking explore page do one, and I'm like, wait a minute. I right. remember when when dude. Tony Hawk was like doing attempt after attempt yeah. after attempt for a nine hundred. Yeah, it's crazy. But that's that's the that's one of the things that I try to tell people that are looking to get into things. I'm like, you don't have to kill yourself. No. It's never been about how big or how great you can do a trick, because I mean, you know all the respect in the world and I love him as a, as a close friend. Uh, Josh Sheehan did the triple backflip. Oh, I remember Josh Sheehan. Yeah, yeah. But like, it didn't have the same Like excitement? Weight. Well, like it, it wasn't earth shattering like when Travis did it because it's not what you're doing, it's how you do it. Yeah. So Nitro Circus talked him into doing it, you know, because it had to be at Travis's house and Nitro Circus, you know, corporate sucks balls. They do. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, for real, like they've never treated anybody right and they've yeah. always been greedy. Um, and they, they've severely limited how big the, the thing could be because Nitro Circus was like, we want to, you know, make a big thing, but, but it's going to be ours. So like they filmed it and like when your life at risk for them, for their reward. That's and it's cool. like he landed it, uh, at Travis's house. Like you couldn't have like, you know, it wasn't like Staples Center where, you know, when Travis did his double, uh, where you that could have an entire... Was f yeah. I literally remember like it was yesterday. When it, same, there. I was standing right there. That I was, was like, nuts. Um, but, you know, his was back in the woods, so it could only... Yeah. But, like, it should have been at least, like, on ESPN, like, as it, it was happening. Mean. You know what I mean? Because, like, Evil Knievel used to do a two-hour special for a five-second jump. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean... That, that, that dude was riding on a fucking bicycle yeah. going off that fucking... So, uh, you know, it's, it's not what you're doing. It's how you do it. Yeah. Um, and I'm a perfect example of that. Like I'm, can't, I got like no bike skills whatsoever, and like I've been, you know, one of the up in the upper echelon of names yeah. in action sports, and I have no action sports skills. You never backflipped a, a, a dirt bike. I landed a backflip to dirt. I was actually one of the first 50 people in the world to land a backflip to dirt. Really? Yeah, because like as soon as I, I hit, want to backflip a dirt bike so <laughs> come bad. by. Dude, I, I'm going to tell you something right That's now. That's an open invite. I used to have dreams when I was a young... Because I've I raced dirt bikes for 14 dude. years <laughs> competitively. Yeah? Yeah, I went to Loretta's. No way, Yeah, dude, dude I was I, I know about everything. I went to Loretta's in the C-Class. <laughs> I raced my entire life. That's how I know everything. Yes. Dude, I used to I used to go to my races. My dad would pull up in a... And we called it a Scooby-Doo van. It was this big blue-ass van. Dude. My dad had a 50. <laughs> I would go to the races... Right, I would go to yeah, the races, yeah, yeah. and I would be, and in between motos, yeah. I would go into the Scooby Doo van, and oh, I would play oh, Jackass and Nitro Circus that's amazing. all the time, and I would dream of going to Travis's house. Well, dude, like uh, that's an easy setup. Like, uh, if dude, you wanna... I I would I would need a, a new set of underwear if I ever got the invite to go to Travis. That's house. you have it right now. That's like, insane. That's, that's an invite for you. Those dudes would love me. I'll cut yeah, their ass, I, and I'll be a jokester. Over I can there. Uh, easily. Uh, teach you how to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Oh yeah. my God, I'm shitting good yeah. tonight, boys. Yeah, no, no joke. Like that. It's, I had this one guy reach out to me. He DM'd me, and I was talking to him, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll get you in, no problem." I was like, "Oh my God, bro, let me know." And to he Travis, just, like, never. Yeah. Oh. And he just he said who that he was. said that he was friends with um you with me. Yeah. Because I told him I was like, "Oh, Street Buck Tommy follows me." Like His I don't know if you know Mike, him. Was it? I I, I could show you after. He's I, a, I he's had a the New DM. Yorker. But I think he was from Maryland, this yeah. guy. He's from Maryland, but, like, he's, like, originally a New York guy. And I told him that I was hanging out with you. He was like, oh, my God. Like, a bunch of my friends were, like, tripping when I told him where I was going. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Really? Yeah, yeah, dude. You're oh a big deal. Oh, my God. Yo, big deal. I got to bring my pop. Yo, my pops. <laughs> because my pop, yeah. I told my pops I was bringing you on. Bring my em. dad's like, yo, tell that motherfucker yeah. I would love to come. My dude, bro, they're, like, huge fans. The only, the only, you you got to show up in a Scooby-Doo van. You got to go find another one. I do, yeah, that's what made it all. That's what made it all. <laughs> but you know what it is? Like. I want to talk about how, like, this generation will never experience yeah. what, how, like, how that was growing up, like, in terms of, like, how you, your upbringing, well, everything, like, action sports, like. Mainly because I think of uh, uh, just, just content saturation. Yep. Uh, there's too many avenues. Because, like, I think about that all the time. When I was a kid, we had three channels. That's a real thing. I know. Like, when I was actually. You had actually, to really like, do the most to get. It, I was, like, the tail end of that, like. 
I like just as I was a kid, there was three channels, mm-hmm. and like God help you if the president was speaking. Yeah, president comes on, you're watching the president. Yep, like um, it, it, I know they know, put the boring shit on, and it sucked. But for what it was, like there was no like you know because I could watch fifty shows today. Uh, I could spend my entire day just watching shows and then meet like you know half of my friend group and maybe some people had seen some of the stuff that I'd seen. Yeah. Which is like, it's, it's kind of sucky. Cause like, you know, when you're growing up, like everybody like watched like, dude, when Michael Jackson came out with a new video or something, yeah. like dude, you know, thank God he's gone or whatever. Cause <laughs> you know, fuck that guy. I don't but, even remember li- watching Michael Jackson. But dude, like when I was a kid, like when Michael Jackson came out with a new video, dude, thriller and all that, like, uh, I was a little young for thrill, but like I watched the, the, the video like we went to the video store, yeah. rented the video, and you know it was like one of the, and like when he would come out with a new video like on MTV it was like a big deal like Scream like he came out with Scream that was like the most technologically advanced you know yeah. thing that anybody had ever done cinematically you know but like everybody watched that people were obsessed with like the wrong shit bro yeah and That's like how it is now it's just I but don't now know. Nitro the where Nitro's at right now is. Fucking insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Insane. Um, I just wish they could do it better, man. Like, they've made it pretty corny these days. Like, well, with Nitro? Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I, it, it's, it's, the old stuff is always going to be the best. Yeah, but they, they got corny, man. Like, it's like, it's not that, it doesn't have that grit to it like you're yeah. talking about. You know what I mean? Like, like the, there's no more videos of you yeah. going down a fucking slip and slide and crossing over, like yeah. crazy shit like that. I miss well, shit like that. And even the in-between stuff, you know, like I don't think the current um, corporation captures what Nitro is. They just regurgitate stuff. And it's like, yeah, you know, that's never what it was about. You know, I know. It's like there's um, there's a lot of a lot of different laws now, I feel yeah. like. A lot of things you can't do. Like look what I was just saying with all these like brand deals and all this shit. Like you can't yeah. say this, you can't do that. Like if you it's just how it is. It's just and it's sucks. like sure, like I you know, I don't agree with everything that you say. I don't. But like who cares? Yeah. You know, because I have a ton of friends. Dude, I have friends of you know, straight up still like will say Biden's a great president. And I'm yeah. all like all right, that's cool, man. <laughs> I still like that person. Yeah. You know, like I'm that's that's cool. the same thing with me. You you could have all your beliefs in the world. Yeah. Like I have friends too yeah. that are like either a liberal, whatever. Like I will yeah. never not hang out with you because you're doing right. just just don't push me into wanting to do what you're doing. Yeah. That's what's wrong with the, today's generation. That the grooming shit. Yeah. Like if I'm this, you have to be a two. Like nobody. Listen, yeah, you do your shit. I'm doing mine. I'll hang out with you, but don't force <laughs> yeah. me to fucking do something I don't want to do. There's a lot of that these like, days. Like, it's crazy how it is. Like, people strictly won't hang out with someone because it's like, I mean, like I said, I have friends back at home that yeah. I'm like, I don't, listen, yeah. you believe what you ever want to believe. Right. I don't and who give cares? A fuck. If you, if you want to dress your son up as a furry, fine. You best believe I'm going <laughs> to kick him. I'm going to kick him right in the fucking yeah. face. But because if you identify as a cat, it, all right. Right there, pal. Right, right. <laughs> What do you what are your thoughts on you think that shit's crazy, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I just kinda whatever. You you do you, man. Like Who'd that. rather an OnlyFans daughter or a or a uh, a kid that identifies as a furry? Uh I mean it really depends, man. I, that's you can't really put me in that position because like at that point I feel like, you know, as a parent. Yeah. You How know, many someone, you have any kids? So I don't have any of my own. I have a ex stepson who uh was in my life since he was Three weeks old yeah. to when he was five, and he's ten now, getting ready to turn eleven. He's oh shit! Like the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Fuck um, yeah! And I still talk to him daily. Uh, I hope you're getting him a dirt bike. Yeah. Well, so I got him uh, actually a Stasic. That's the best. Oh, yeah. those are fucking yeah. insane. See, St- look, look at that. Dude, Stasics are awesome. Are insane. That's the electric bike thing, yeah. right? But those things are nuts. He's like literally like the best kid in the world, and uh, he's actually taking a uh a liking to wanting to create content so like I'm look a, your your son uh steps he's gonna yeah. have the biggest nutsack oh dude he's amazing into shit like that he's fearless too yeah he's, he's now, that's the best my um, i literally thank my dad to the, my first ever <laughs> dirt bike i was three years old yeah i started racing at four yeah it was the greatest thing my dad could have ever done and it's for a me. great bonding thing 100 percent. is know? it expensive yeah my my wallet and my pop's wallet got Fucked growing oh, up. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, memories are yeah. all that matters. I don't give a fuck about the money. All, it was the greatest thing. And also, it's doing. So, like, what I, and it doesn't have to be dirt bikes, but because of dirt bikes. So, like, I like 
the things that surround it. So you get travel, you get to experience the world around you. Uh, when stuff breaks, you get to be mechanical and like, you don't have a lot of money, so you got to fix it yourself. Yep, my dad, so yep. you got to be capable. And then like, you know, you have to be in shape to ride a dirt bike. So like, uh, you know, I might be a fat guy, but dude, I can run, you know, easily. I, if don't I had to, you, baby. if I had to, I could run a, a marathon. I'd be really upset the next day, but like I could do a marathon. <laughs> uh, cause like, you know, I, it's nothing for me to do six miles. Like, yeah. just like, that's just like my standard run. Is like a six mile, and that's it's not crazy. running. It's not you know six miles. Jesus. Yeah, Are you but sprinting? like it's like this. Oh, but so you're like I'll, I'll, I'll do skipping this. a jog. I'll do this all day. <laughs> do that. You all know day. what I do all day? I'll do this all day. I'll put it on my thumbs. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, I'm I like to just lift. Well, I do a little bit of rowing after, but yeah. I'm getting a dirt bike and I'm yeah. getting a dirt bike in March. But I'm getting a 2024 Husky 350. Dude, Huskies are nice. Yeah. And dude, I would yeah. love to fucking yeah. do something, bro. Come on by. I'm hype. Come on by. That's gonna hype me up. Um, that's an easy, that's an easy one. Um, but yeah, dude, like that lifestyle, like in general, it keeps you active, keeps you out, keeps you doing things, yes. experiencing the world around you. Look, now, um, now kids, you gotta keep the kids away from the iPad. Bro. And it's like, dude, I, I, in the same breath, I love the iPad. Like, it's awesome that that yeah. technology exists, yep. but you know, it's, there should be some Look at separation. this new fucking thing that everyone's got over the heads. You see this thing? I have not seen What's it. What's it called? What's it called? I, that Apple yeah. thing? I've seen it, but I haven't, like... Are you kidding me? These people look like aliens, bro. Oh, man. I that just, is the most ridiculous dude, thing ever. So, I feel like when I was a kid, imagine <laughs> how excited I was. Like, that. I, I, I look back, and I'm like, dude, when Game Boy came out and it had a color screen, I was like, uh, yo! Pokemon on that shit, bro. Right. Yes. Like, but, like, so... I couldn't even imagine, like, as a kid today, Having that. something like that yep. comes out, bro. Nuts. I, yeah. And, you know, it's it's awesome. I, I'm not going to – I can't bag on, on that stuff. I think it looks stupid as hell when you're doing I, it in public. There was a guy – I watched a video. This guy was crossing the street, and he was doing this, dude, in the middle of the street, like, pointing buttons in the sky. I'm like, what that, the fuck is that's this? That's out of hand. Like that, Ridiculous. You, you, you can't – Driving, you could drive your car with them on. I would love to be on a plane with one. I'm like, gonna ride a dirt bike with one. No, dude. Fuck. Imagine you put that uh, on and you can it, ride an imaginary track. You can actually like see. Yeah, you could see and shit pops up on the screen, so you could watch porn and you could you could drive multitask. Your car. You, you could, could multitask. Mul- you yeah, could yeah, crank yeah. me while you're driving, seeing fucking Lisa <laughs> Ann with her tits out. That's oh, insane. Oh, bro. Multitasking well, to a whole new level. You Incredible. It, you get a Tesla, it drives itself, then you were in that. Yeah, that's nuts. Oh, dude, yeah. I mean, you know, that's some Jetson shit where it should, yeah, they, you don't see that on the cartoon. No. No, I mean, it's, <laughs> it sucks though, dude, but those are the. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand the people. And then, like, that, when, and like the, the Pokemon Go when that was huge and people oh were like falling God. off cliffs and stuff, you know? Like, believe me, I hate, I, I just like. We, people can't just like chill out, right? They just gotta you. They always gotta do the most, right? I mean, even now with chicks, now they all got the lips done, they got the Dude. windshield wiper and eyelashes. They look awful. You look like like you belong in the Muppets. Dude, the worst is when you're following a chick because, like, I got you know girlfriends of mine, and they don't that, look like that in person. Well, not only that, but like me, I feel like it's a travesty because, like, you know, I I have these <laughs> girls that I've known my whole life that they were. Beautiful. beautiful. I mean, <laughs> beautiful. And then, like, they just they start with a thing. Yep. And then it's another thing. And it's another thing. And I'm like, you ruined it. Yep. Because, listen, if you have a kid, say, say you, you look the way you look and you have a kid and it comes out not really looking like you. And you're like, wait a minute, what'd you look like before? Right. So it's like kind of like you're just yeah. tricking the per. Like it's crazy. Listen, ladies, if you're listening to this right now, I have a guy following. But if there's a percentage of ladies listening to this, get rid of the fucking lips yeah. and take off the eyelashes. You, you, you look ridiculous. You look better. You just be natural. Yeah. Don't be getting this fake ass to nah. get fake tits, fake ass, and nah. they smoke those flash drives. Put that shit back in your computer. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a for like I. I don't even like when a chick wears makeup. If no, I'm I'm, I am like because guess what? Are you gonna have the makeup on when you no, wake up next to no. me? No, that's, that's when I think they look the best. Yep. Like, let me get that all the time. Yeah, I yeah. know. Well, that's that's the way the old generation thinks yeah. based on this new generation. They love that shit. I got all my boys. They're like, yeah, bro, you don't like a girl with nice lips, though. It feels better on your dick. I'm like, dude, nah, what the fuck. That's I like promise you, I don't know the difference. Cock. I I've never been able to feel a difference. Me neither. 
like ever. I'm Does not, it look different? Yeah. yeah. They look like they kissed a hot fucking pipe with those on their face. <laughs> Just spending a little too much time with a, a shop vac. Yeah. But I want to talk about, so I remember seeing you on Ridiculousness. Oh, dude. How sick was that? So Rob is genuinely like, cool I, dude. I'll, I'll say this like straight up, one of the best dudes I've, I've really? met that's uh, in the, that position. I love hearing that. Like he's like, uh, when the show's not like green room, right? You're just hanging out. Yeah. One of the greatest dudes. Like, Fuck yeah, period. Dude. And like, man, he's called me for stuff that like, uh, I, I, I didn't need like the fact that like, I had the thought, you know, like he thought about me in that situation where, you know, I did ridiculousness. And, uh, when I did have my barbecue restaurant, uh, before I even opened my doors, the very first thing that I did, he just saw that I was doing it. Yeah. And I got the invite to literally, he, I flew out there to uh, uh, cater uh, an office party for him. So he's got this really sick building in Beverly Hills uh, for Deer Dick Machine. And it's like a rooftop and it like overlooks the whole city yeah. of LA. Damn. It's super sick. But he put me up in Beverly Hills at a and b and I spent uh, the whole night before like uh, smoking everything. Cause like I'm a barbecue guy, so like I'm yeah. barbecuing in Beverly Hills, dude. And I was smoking up the street, something fierce. Like I'm surprised <laughs> the cops didn't show up. Cause like I had my smoker going and was lighting that bitch and, up. Yeah, and like I had everything, and I, and I he hired me to cater his office party in Fuck. in Beverly Hills. And like, dude, you know, it's like stuff that he he didn't need to do that. Like, yeah. just genuinely one of the best dudes. And that, listen, there's a lot yeah. a lot of people that you see, because he seems like a genuine dude when, yeah. you, when I watched Deer Deck. Uh, yeah. What is it? Fantasy Factory? Fantasy Factory. I used to watch that all the yeah, time. Yeah. Seen, but, like, a lot of these people, dude. They, they seem genuine on yeah. TV, and then they're yeah. like, nah, he's an asshole behind doors. So that's fucking yeah. dope to see that he's cool. It's that's crazy. what social media is, yeah. bro. It's a fucking it's fake a, game. It's a facade. Everyone puts but a fake, fake sound. Deer Dick comes from the old school. Yeah. Like, he came up cutting his teeth with skate videos. Um, I was just playing Skate 3 the other day. Yeah, yeah. I was playing with him. <laughs> I love Skate 3. Yeah. My favorite so, game. You know, he's he's one of those dudes that to this day is like one of the nicest dudes you'll ever meet. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. sick, dude. Yeah. So I got to talk about this because I did something fucking crazy about <laughs> six months ago. And yeah. the second that I saw, like we were talking in the end, I was like, oh, yeah. I can't wait to ask him about this because it was fucking wild for me. I went skydive. Oh, word. Dude. Nice. Dude. Yeah. Holy fuck. That was like, like I thought being on a gate, like I, when I was at Loretta's, the first yeah. moto and I was on the gate, like yeah. obviously I'm like, yeah. how the fuck am I here right now? Yeah. It was like that times seven, the you, adrenaline rush that I had. It's like what people don't talk about, you know, because like everybody that I know, they tried to talk me into skydiving for 15 years. You just never wanted to do I, it? I was like, you know what? Like, my success rate is zero, and that doesn't work for skydiving, yeah. right? So, like, anything that I had ever done, like, TV, uh, anything that I was trying, like, my success rate was always zero. And I was yeah. like, I can't do that with skydiving. Uh, but, like, I always wanted to do it. And then, like, uh, over the years, I would do all these, like, I'd have hours and hours and hours in the wind tunnel, like, indoor wind tunnel, like, indoor skydiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was great at it, but, like... You know, they're like, dude, you, why don't you skydive? Because, like, I could fly around those tunnels like I'm Peter Pan. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it, it, finally, just one day, I was like, you know what? I, I could do it. I could do it, you know? And, like, I went to go skydive, and they're like, you're too fat, right? So, like... Um, oh, yeah, you have to be a certain weight. I mean, right. I mean, and I was like, that. well, why is that? They drop tanks out of planes. Like, I'm not... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was like, that doesn't yeah, make... Yeah, but you falling out of the yeah. sky is like an asteroid right. about to hit a building. So, but like <laughs> they were like, well, they make those parachutes, but like our rental program, we don't have them that go up past uh, two fifty. At the time, I was yeah. like two sixty. Uh, so um, we went down to Florida where they have a program. Uh, we went down to skydive to land, and they have a an indoor wind tunnel program. Yeah, where if you do a certain amount of hours in the wind tunnel and you can perform acrobatically without needing assistance you could do by yourself. these things and then you do the ground school for the aff you can jump by yourself mm. yeah Did you jump by yourself i jumped by myself i've never yeah. gone i've never oh, gone tandem fuck the first time you ever scored that <laughs> yeah. you jumped by yeah. yourself so and i was like i was like i was like confident and stuff because i'm so good in the wind tunnel and you knew how to pull the thing out and everything well they teach you like on the ground like um bro so like uh, I do the ground school and like, 
you know, uh, I do the wind tunnel thing and I'm like super confident about my ability to, to be in the air. But the one thing that I didn't think about, like, so like I was scared shitless, uh, cause like you, you think once you commit, like anything that I've ever done, like, uh, I just go. Right. Yeah, so like, I yeah. just go, you can't just go with skydiving. You're in this plane. It's the worst part about it is when it's up, you're go, high up yeah. and you're like, okay, are we, are we high enough? And I remember yeah. asking the guy, I'm like, just, are we? he's like, no, you're halfway there, pal. Yeah. Yeah, and it just keeps on, and like it takes like an hour to. And like, the plane's a piece of shit. It's, dude, it's got a go kart yeah, motor in it. Because like, <laughs> it doesn't matter if it crashes. They're like they don't take care of it the same way they took, take care of normal planes because everybody in the plane's got a parachute. Yeah, so it's okay if it goes yeah. down. Yeah. So you're you're in this tin can airplane and and like That's you finally crazy. You, and then they open the door and I'm like standing on the side of the plane and like I'm ready to go and I'm like. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Cause like I'm like I'm literally I'm I'm, I'm standing on the side of an airplane, like outside of it. Like how crazy is Yo. just that thought, right? Like standing on the outside of an airplane, and then like was, when this guy was behind me, oh. he kept saying crazy. He was like, "Buddy, how does it feel that my dick is on your ass?" Nah, -uh. right, <laughs> right before I jumped out, right before he pushed me out, I was like, "Buddy, did you really That's, just tell yeah. me?" And then I just I I it was like. It's a it's a five second like downfall, oh, but yeah. it feels like forty minutes. Yeah, the free fall, and yeah. I was like struggling to breathe. I thought I was gonna pass out. Right, and I was screaming because so the like, rush of air, dude. I was like, yeah. that was the. I would do it again. Oh, I would. So just because I like that adrenaline feeling, it, it makes it makes my my nuts well, like fucking yeah. shrivel up, dude. Well, the and but like also like I really like when I pulled the chute, dude. Cause like when I was there, I was like flying and I'm free falling and I'm like looking and they're, they're asking me to perform these different things. Cause I'm trying to get my license, you know? So yeah. like I'm doing these different maneuvers and like they're, they're making sure I hit my checklist and then like they hit the thing and I was all like, okay. And I do the call off. I go to pull, boof, right? Now I'm alone. You know what I mean? I felt confident. Like when well, I was going down, but then you got to get to the, now, now I'm, now I'm just, I mean, it's going to end up in another state. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I've, I've free fall like in the tunnel. Like I knew what I was doing. But I've never flown a canopy before. That's fucking You know, I'm like, I pull so the things scary. down and I'm like sitting there. I'm like seeing what does, does different stuff. Yeah. And like the thing that they don't tell you about is like those parachutes are like wings and they experience turbulence too. So I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, ah, Holy I'm like, shit. What, do, what do I do? And like, nobody's there to tell me that that was okay. So like, you know, uh, you know it was like one of those things. But then uh, you landed fine. No, fuck no. So like the first time I landed. <laughs> Uh, dude, I, I, they call it a PLF. Like you just crash land basically. Yeah. So like, they were like, uh, you know, I could see my homie down there and he was like telling me one of the like flare and like, you only get one. So like I went and like, I thought I was good. And like, I was coming in, I was like, Phew, and I go to flare and like, I flared too early. So like, then I start picking speed back. <laughs> Oh my God, you fell right on your face. Oh, dude. So, like, I eat shit, boom. <laughs> and I start tumbling, but then I get drug across the uh, runway. Like, uh, my parachute drags me chest first across the runway, and uh, it actually uh, road rashes through the, the, the chest strap yeah. and ruins that parachute. Uh, it, it pulls my, immer uh, my reserve. That goes doink, and it like shoots up over my head. So, like, they were so pissed, oh. like, yeah, because they thought that you were like well, fucking experienced. No, all no, no, they knew I was. Well, they knew that you like weren't. But they don't. You don't expect somebody to have just a catastrophic yeah. landing like you must that. Must have came down like a bowling oh, ball, <laughs> dude. And like I eat shit, and then I get up, uh, and like so now they have to do because we're filming. Uh, like they were really cool about it, but I know they had to be pissed. Yeah. Because like the chest strap had to be like professionally like repaired and t like certified, uh -huh. you know, because that's like one of the things that's like, you know, that like that one strap is like one of the most important parts of the parachute. Dude, I don't. Know. And uh, so like, and then they had to repack the reserve. It had to get recertified. Like it was like a big deal. Like I ruined, and they didn't have another one for my size. Oh my god! Yeah. So did you ever do it again after that? Oh, so I went out and I bought my own parachute. So <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, you are the definition yeah. of just fuck it. Yeah. So, but I've never jumped it because uh, like I, I, that was like because I the Instagram company hit me up. They were like, hey, listen, we'll give you two free jumps if yeah. you just come and tag us. I was like, oh, easy peasy. Sure. Well, so like uh, that's great, but like me personally, I just I. Like, uh, tra like it was like one of my m most special memories to me, uh, because like Travis was there and Roner were there. That's who taught me how to skydive. Like I was, I learned from 
um, uh, the guy at the land, um, like my instructor. Yeah. But uh, it was special because like Travis and Roner were there the whole time, right? And like I was super pumped to like finally like be sharing that with them. That's and then like sick. it was like I got my parachute, like I ordered my par- the custom parachute. It's sick. I I still have it. It's a wings. Like I got a sick like it's the company wings That's does like a sick container, crazy. and I got like a custom uh, canopy uh, two sixty navigator. Um, and it was dialed in, but like it was like right as I got it, like that's when Roner pa- passed away from yeah, skydiving. So and like I just, it, I was like, man, it just like it scared the shit out of me. And like there's been a couple times where I'm like, man, that I got it. Was yeah, was that a parachute malfunction? Yeah, well, so it wasn't a malfunction. Um, he, you know, things happen, and like yeah. nobody actually knows what happened but him. Uh, yeah. But he was coming in for a landing and. Uh, made contact with a tree. Um, but, you know, it's unfortunately in the lifestyle that we live, I mean, that stuff happens. I mean, but yeah. the, but it happens out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, um, especially, I, you know, living in Baltimore, like, dude, I could get shot tomorrow. You know yeah. what I mean? Get shot and anywhere that's now. Really it's anywhere. It's so easy to get a gun but, anywhere now. Uh, you, but, you know, it's not really, I feel like it's way harder now, but, um, you know, they exist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and they could come at you at any angle at any time. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, it's not something that I worry about, you know, but... You just got to live the next day like right. it's your last. So, you know, I, I've, I've definitely uh, done the best of that I could. That's crazy. The, um, fact that you're, the fact that your body is still functioning is wild. Yeah, I'm like super I, thankful. Like, I was even just looking at Travis. Something was posted with Travis's x-ray yeah. of his body. Uh, so that... The, is that bullshit? No, no, no. No, no. So I think... So I saw that and I was like, ah, that's true, but he didn't break that. No, no, he did. <laughs> so I'm not going to shortchange that at all. But like, uh, for anybody that thinks he has that much metal in him currently, yeah, that, oh, that, yeah, that was like, pull it out. I feel like that was a collection of his X-rays, yeah, uh, because like you know, he's done his collarbone like a bunch of times, and every time that he does it, they pin and plate it. So like, uh, they'll plate and like stick screws in and it'll hold it together and he can go on about his business like he can continue to do th- and, and like you know when he breaks something like they pin and plate it and then the, he can go on about his business but after it heals they do pull it out that's um, nuts i would love to have a, i would love to have a five hour conversation with that dude he's dude. yeah because I just know that he's the coolest motherfucker. He really ever. is. Like, he great. he's... Uh, I've never actually met someone that was cool with him. And right. You, but is he like... What's it like being no, around a, someone like he's Travis? He's a Bichard? normal dude, man. That's he, so sick, bro. He's just, the, the only thing is, is that he likes his games. Like, uh, I, I kind of like... I'm, I'm like one of the only ones around our group that doesn't play into the, the stuff. Because like, you know, you're sitting here, you're, you're drinking beer. You know, and it's your dominant hand. He's like, ah, oh, bull moose. And you're like, hey, shut up. I'm gonna, uh, That's so funny, you know? funny dude. And then, like, uh, they got a thing where if you say the word mine, uh, M-I-N-E, if you just say mine, uh, you got to do 20 push-ups. Oh. And I'm all like, nah, bro, I'm a grown man. I'm going to say mine, 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 mine. I'm not <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. Yeah. Fuck but every, everybody's all like, <sighs> like. I'm like a drag on the group because I don't do the push-ups because I say the word mine. That's fucking uh, crazy, He just, I, he, he likes his games. You know, it's just, everything's a game. You know, he... Me too, bro. Yeah. I, me being from New York, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I love the bullshit and I love to fucking roast people. It's my favorite thing. To me, to me, making yeah. fun of someone is like saying, hey, how are you? Right. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. That's just and, the way that I am. Dude, With my and, friends. And it's all in how you do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you're, bro. I'm sure, like, you know, it's not mean-spirited. No, nah, right? never that. That's um, what people, people believe everything they see on the internet. Yeah. That's why, like, when people come, to, they, they'll, they'll see me at a bar, and they'll message me on Instagram and be like, hey, like, I saw you at the bar, but I didn't want to come up to you because I was kind of scared. Yeah. But I'm like, these people think that they're going to come up to me and say, I'm going to be like, yo, go fuck yourself. Get away from me. Like, yeah, no, nah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, a normal I'm a fucking good dude. dude. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big mean reason why I started yeah. the podcast, so people could actually see the side of me yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, yeah. me screaming my eyes out in my car. <laughs> Which is your brand. You built it. Yeah. You, you had a thing, and you built your thing. I had to stick with it, because I yeah. can't switch up now. My no. followers followed me for one thing and one thing only. Got to be yeah. a dick. I love doing it. It's great. And never change. Never change. You know? Try not to. Um, but 
Damn, bro. I'm happy to see you doing great. Yeah, I appreciate you. And so you got this good boy vodka coming out shit too. You yeah, want to so Trav- shout out. Travis has his uh beverage through Good Boy Vodka. Dude, we gotta we gotta try yeah. try to do some, bro, because yeah. I fucking Dude, love those. It's so good. I'm not bullshitting you. Um, I don't like a lot of seltzers because when they sit my yeah. I'm like, I'm just like like the white claws and all yeah. that shit. I'd rather piss in a cup and drink right. that than the Dude, bullshit. It's like flavored TV static. Yeah. You know, it's like if I saw like a, a TV that's just sitting there going. Yeah, that's how it feels. And it says, that's how it feels in your stomach. And it says just like very faintly raspberry. Like that. that's how I would oh, describe. Those, but these, dude, they're so good. I'm it's hyped. like an actual like orange soda uh, is how I describe it to normal people. But if you're from Maryland, it's an orange crush. Do you I guys love, have orange crushes up here? I love crush, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Because like, dude. I love crush. Like I feel like it's like only a Maryland thing. And like, crush? Yeah, dude. Like Orange Crush? Yeah, what the fuck? I have, yeah, it's everywhere. Dude, that's weird because like I swear to God, like you go anywhere, you're like, uh, can I get an Orange Crush? They're like, what, like the soda? And you're like, no, like the the mixed drink. And I've like, never heard of it. You know? Oh, I was thinking about the soda. No. No, no, like Orange Crush, like the mixed drink. This is what I'm saying. Oh, no. I, see, I was thinking the soda. Nah, so like there's a Maryland Orange Crush. You got Google. There you go. Well, now, cool. I don't, now we're going to yeah. look that up. Yeah. So, because like uh, it's fresh free, f- fresh squeezed orange juice, uh, vodka, and like a little shot of Sprite, and like uh, some maybe some triple sec. It, depend- it, it depends on how you make it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Maryland has our own drink. It's called an Orange Crush, That's and everybody sick. always thinks it's a soda. That's funny. I thought you were talking um, about the soda. But nah, I'm man. Go look home and fucking butt chug those dude. things, dude, because I'm hyped. Yeah. So I that- can keep those, right? Yeah. I'm so excited, yeah, yeah, dude. I brought some. Um, but you can uh, absolutely uh, okay. hang on to those. And, and that's supposed to be Travis's take on the Maryland Orange Crush. Are they out yet? Are they in stores? Yeah. They yeah. are. Uh, I would have to check my list on the states that yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it's for sure available in New Jersey. I, I, I would have to look. No, well, I got them here. So but, anybody, everybody else around you could sit on it. Yeah. I'm sipping these <laughs> yeah. and you're not getting but any of it. We're working on getting it uh, nationally distributed. I think we're in 28 or 30 states right now. Like, we opened up in eight states this month. So, um, yeah, it's it's a very – it's a quickly growing brand. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, and with someone like you, with yeah. a personality like yeah, you, you can get man. the word out easy. Well, it's like it's Travis' drink. You know, he's on board, and I'm pushing it in Maryland for Travis. And uh, they also got John Daly. So he's got, he's got a line More of – the better. That's sick. Yeah, he's got a line of uh, half-and-half teas. Uh, four four different flavors of teas with with uh, good boy that are delicious. Let's so see. those are non carbonated. Travis's drink, the Orange Crush, is lightly carbonated. I love that, dude. And they do have a a line of seltzers that are really good seltzers as well. Well, fellas, when the good boys around in town, make sure you're sipping it and make sure you drown in it. <laughs> anyway, folks, thank you guys for tuning in to an amazing amazing episode here with the legend Street Bike Tommy. <laughs> make sure you guys are following him on Instagram Street underscore Bike underscore Tommy. Yeah. I know that's a headache, but well, and you're fucking massively shadow banned. You got to like write out your whole name for you to pop up. Dude, it's annoying as hell, dude. Not, not only am I massively shadow banned, but like uh that's I feel like they're sucks. they like they hate hate me and i don't know why no reason you know why because you're a badass motherfucker yeah. and people nowadays one they can't they can't handle shit right. like that because we're li- we live in a generation <laughs> where everybody's soft as baby but dude, shit. it's like all i do is i go to work and i post things at work and like if i have like a cool burger like i'll put up a picture yeah, of my like, burger why are you eating a fucking burger like yeah. eat a dick I, I don't know why i mean it's probably my guns like i, I like guns Keep Are shooting you? Away. I, I can't never say shot guns. a gun in my life, but maybe you really? know, when I come to oh, the, bro. when I come to when I when I come to Pastrana's house, I want to take a shotgun into a wall. No, I'm, I'm going to give you a suppressed AR, and you're going to get to shoot like rad stuff. My eyes closed. Yeah, yeah. Make sure my eyes open. Like, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you guys are rocking the merch too. I got yeah. my Dickhead University shirt on. DukeGomez.com for all the quality merch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me this get is, one of those. Yeah, I got. I just sent you out a care package. <laughs> Just sent you a personal care I'll be rocking it package. right now, bro. This guy's like, rocking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, let me get that two X. <laughs> I got him the two X. All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Love you all. DukeOMS.com for the merch. And uh, sit on it and twist. Yeah. I love you. Twice. Twice. Three times. Four. Tell your mother.